Hey everyone, Dave here, and it's time for Updatery! So this weekend was the opening weekend of Not Scary Farm. <laughs> yes, that magical time of year that wreaks utter havoc on my sleep schedule. Uh, this year, I'll be scaring you in the pumpkin eater maze. And here's some footage I already found of me in the maze. Yeah, it's dark, but if you could make out what I looked like from that footage, and if you see that particular mask in the park, it just might be me. It might not be, there's probably a couple of duplicate masks running around, but it might be me. In less exciting news, as of this filming, my MacBook is currently in the shop due to some damage. Not going to go into details, but some theme park horror events where I do not work apparently think the most fun horror of all is to design souvenir bottles where you can stand them upright far away from your computer, but when you return to your office, you'll spookily find them tipped over with your computer sitting in the middle of a big puddle of cream soda. Spooky! Yeah, as some of you may know, uh, that computer was a gift from my very generous former roommates who uh, organized a bunch of my very generous friends to chip in to get me a new MacBook Pro because uh, up till then I was using my 10-year-old MacBook Pro and my 13-year-old MacBook Regular and uh, also a Chromebook. And between the three of them, they almost had the basic functionality of one good computer. Almost. But fortunately, all those very generous friends who chipped in to buy me the computer also chipped in for Apple Care Plus, so the repairs will only cost about 300 bucks instead of the actual thousands of dollars such repairs would normally cost. But it's still $300 that I can barely afford to spend. So, have I mentioned lately the wonderful ways to support my work monetarily? I know, I know, I always spin it into a plug for ways to give me money, and I don't expect it from anyone. The stuff on the channel will always be free, but if you like my stuff and can give me money, I sure do appreciate it, and we'll try to give you extra fun stuff in return. The best way to support financially is, of course, Patreon. At a $2 pledge, you get to see every scripted video before the end of the previous calendar month, such as the Riffin' with Doggins that'll come to the channel next week. Plus... Bonus videos like the embarrassing old crap I made in high school, and very early looks at Blitztravifornia segments. And yeah, still no ETA on the Blitztravifornia being done because still need to find a window to get that last bit of filming done when we can be indoors in parks without masks and also no holiday decorations. So uh, it's not going to be till 2022 at the very earliest. I'm no happier about it than you are. My next theme park project is going to be much smaller scale than this one. At $3, you get to listen to a weekly podcast I do with my wife, Allie, at home with the Dogginses. We talk about anything and everything. We have sub-series like Relitigating Old Crap, where I tell the stories behind those high school videos, and Things We Kinda Remember, where we discuss a pop culture item or experience from the periphery of our memory without doing any further research, and an Untitled series where we talk about movies we watched on the Criterion Channel streaming service. The podcast comes out every Tuesday. The episode coming out this coming Tuesday will be my report from that other theme park Halloween event with the oh-so-destructive souvenir bottles. If you like me, you'll love my wife. She's amazing, and I think our podcast is a ton of fun, if I do say so myself. If you want to sample it, we've released a few episodes for free here on the YouTube channel. You can check them out, and then if you want to hear more, just pledge. Or if you want to hear more from the podcast, but you don't want to commit to a recurring payment, you can also buy bundles of episodes on Gumroad for a flat fee. You can buy 20 episodes for $10 or a whole year's worth for $20. If you buy the 2021 package, you'll get every episode from 2021 so far, plus all the new episodes will be added to it for the rest of the year. But if you only like to spend money on physical goods, there's still the Tee Public Store. It's mostly logos from the various shows I do, plus the theme parks missing the effing point design. Which, if I do say so myself, is great for face masks to wear to the parks. I should really expand the offerings on the Tee Public Store, though. Is there a Doggins-related design that you'd like to buy? Let me know and I'll see what I can do. Finally, if you don't want anything in return and you can't commit to a recurring pledge, but you just want to throw a little support while you can, there's Coffee, you know, the website that's probably pronounced Coffee, but it's spelled like Ko-Fi. Links to all these ways to support are in the description. And if you can't give anything, it's totally fine. I appreciate that you still enjoy my nonsense. Please share it with your friends who you think would also enjoy it. And hopefully my computer will be back before too long and I won't encounter any more rogue soda anytime soon. 
And if you're coming to Scary Farm, I'll see you in the fog. And until next time, this is Dave signing off.